Hey everyone, Cynthia Maynard. Hope you're doing well today. I have another card from my a card class that you can still get. It's still available um, on my website at CynthiaMaynard.com. And this is the card we're making. So a nice white on white um, with just a little bit of color, a little bit of texture, and uh, super easy to make. So we're going to go ahead and start with a thick piece of Whisper White that's cut to 5 and 8 or 5 and 8, 8, eight and a half by 5 and a half. And we're just going to fold that in half, like so, and have that at the ready. And then we have a piece of uh, five by four and five and a quarter. I can't say my measurements right today. Five and a quarter by four, and that's just going to layer right on top there, just like that. So we're going to go ahead and do some stamping on that. So we're going to need a Daffodil Delight. Old olive, I think, or pear pizzazz, and we have our chrome cake pieces and so forth. We need this watercolory one here, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that out. So basically, I'm gonna keep this here as a guide. We're gonna go around a circle ish. This is gonna kind of be here, so we kind of wanna. Just kind of layer and turn if it helps you to turn the paper. We need our pair of pizzazz. And then just doing the same thing over the top there. Maybe it was wild wasabi. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's all got to be pretty. Okay, I'll make sure I get that like that. Just in case any of that peeks through. Grab a crumb cake ink pad as well. You can simply, when this is closed, you can just give it a press and then you'll have a little blotch there. You take your water brush or some water and uh, for time's sake, I'm just gonna give it a spritz. And just pick it up like that and go ahead and just tap. Pick up a little bit more. And we're just looking to get a light little spritz of goodness there. Then you can just wipe that out. Clean my brush off before I forget. I use these things all the time. And then I'm going to wipe this out because I don't want that wet, super wet sticking there, personally. Our stitched framelit circle, this is like the second from the top or the biggest now, but it's the one that measures two and a half inches. Have the more blank one, the watercolor base, as it were, and that we are just going to kind of go right in the middle. Carefully peel that off. Then we're going to take the more detailed stamp and go in with that one in the exact same color. You don't really need to line them up. Just line up the center. I think you'll be fine. And that adds a nice layer of detail to that. That kind of gives it dimension. Isn't that pretty? Then our center is the crumb cake. Like that. Okay. Bits there and crumb cake as well. And kind of fill in the stamp set. It can be used for so many things. It's so pretty. Then we can go ahead and stamp the inside. My battery is about ready to go here. It says your kindness means so much more than you will ever know. All right, so I've got my crumb cake here. My camera needed to be recharged. And I had to do this in two 
episodes. So for our inside of our card, we're going to use the sentiment, and then we're going to stamp off and use those leaves again to kind of mimic um, what is going on on the front of the card. There's plenty of room for your message. I'm going to stamp off and kind of go right there next to that. And do that again, stamp off, and then we're just going to tilt it just like that. All right, so for assembling, let that dry a little bit here. Let's go ahead and get our front panel back out. And we've got our two pieces. This is from the Naturally... No, this is from... I'll have to put that in my video, <laughs> what this set is from. This is a die, and I cut it out of crumb cake and... Um, not daffodil, was it daffodil delight? Or the other one that I can remember. I'll put all the information on the screen, that way you don't have to worry about me saying it. So basically I'm just going to kind of layer these under some snail in that spot because we're covering this up with, um, you know, with our little circle there. So I'm just going to kind of go like that. So I've got the yellow one and then I've got them tilted just so. Just stick that down. Stick this on dimensional. It's still light and it's still fall. Stick that there so that we have our wreath showing. So I want a little bit of white to show that that's a wreath. And then we have this double stitch ribbon. So on this side it's like little train tracks and then this side is the little X's. So we're just going to tie a bow. And give that a trim. Press that rather firmly. And then I'm going to put it on the little sunflower thing here straight to the side. Super happy card. And then the only thing we're going to do uh, before we attach it is just put some little enamel shapes on there. I'm going to go ahead and use these. Or you could also use the glitter enamel dots would be really pretty. So we've basically got three. So we've got one there. A smaller one kind of off to the side. And then another larger one, a little bit that way, okay? You can mimic these designs on the envelope. It's always something fun to do. Um, makes the envelope even more special. So if you want to head on over to my website and check out what's available there, there will be also digital files that will be coming available for printing out your own uh, scrapbook paper. It can be resized. It's not a PDF, so um, you can resize it to whatever you need. You can use it for planners, junk journals, art journals, ephemera, um, scrapbooking, loaded envelopes all sorts of things and it's so much fun to design so uh, those will be being added I do have a vacation this month so things are going to be a little interrupted but uh, it's nice about buying the digital is you can buy it anywhere from the world in the world it's not very expensive and it's instant download so yeah <laughs> I'm going to be offering what I call art starters so like sort of face shapes and things that can kind of get your own drawing going. That'll be fun. Lots of things down the pike. And there you have it. Super simple card, guys. Hope you like that. Go ahead and give a thumbs up and please go check out my website and subscribe to my website. That way you stay in the loop for all the uh, posts that I do so you won't miss out on that. And thanks guys so much. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button later in October. We will be having our subscriber uh, giveaway and I have a fun stamp set that I have uh, put somewhere that I cannot find it right now but the Stampin' Up! Hug in a Mug. I'm so excited to give that away. It's so cute and great for this time of year. Thanks guys. Have a great day.